Hello there dear youtubers my name is king1993 and today's video I'll be talking about how you can upgrade your 5 star weapon and 6 star weapon in the fastest possible manner as possible. So without further ado let's get started and also uh, please uh, give a like and subscribe and click the bell notification icon to get more of this type of video on a regular basis. So without further ado let's get started. First go to this equipment section. Now for example for the purpose of example I'll be taking this. Now this uh, demon blade sakura will turn into Riono sakura. Now in for in order for you to turn this a uh, five star weapon to a six star weapon, first of all you must need to upgrade it to its max five star level. Okay, and in order for you to do that, you will definitely need this honkai cube. Now the question is the places where you can get this honkai cube are actually not a very good option. Okay, you will need a very other types of alternatives to do that okay now what are the alternatives for the alternatives i suggest that you need to understand what is the this material is this material is called anti-entropy imaginon so i'll say a e core okay this used to be called anti-entropy imaginon core but for some reason it has changed so this anti-entropy core or a e core you will need a large quantity of this why now let me show you this place is called asteroid shop in this asteroid shop you can turn this ae core into this honkai shards and then you can turn these three honkai shards into a honkai cube so obviously that is a very good option now first of all you do need to understand that you must need to collect this right where are the best places to do so first of all this asteroid shop because you will be getting up to several thousand of these asteroids per week okay like several thousand up to like let's say ten thousand okay so obviously ten thousand is a large quantity and you can turn this uh, anti this uh, asteroid into this anti entropy imaginal core and then you can turn this imaginal core into this honkai cube okay so this is a one option okay now another uh, option uh, okay this supply uh, place is not a good option i'm just showing you here in case if you get shards uh, do not get them get them unless you ha already have these higher quality ones at their max rating only then get it from this place otherwise don't okay now they, this is called the battle arsenal you can get this gold pin from these places and once you have gotten enough of them you can get at least five entropy core from these places now another one is master shop now if you get it from this master shop up to 10 times then that is good because afterwards it is not going to be available it is a limited time place only okay now there is this thing called which corridor okay now basically speaking what happens is if you have extra fragments of any of the valkyrie characters you can turn them into witch orb and then you can use this witch orb get to get this anti-entropy imaginal now in case if you're wondering where can you get these shards on a regular basis or these fragments on a regular basis you can get it from this place as you can see here today i bought this one using coins okay now there is this expedition now you can do this expedition manually or you can do it from this dorm enter this expedition enter this material and you can select this and then you will be able to get this anti-entropy now you will be able to do it up to 10 times or maybe 15 times it depends on this stamina so if you have stamina you can do it up to 10 or maybe 15 times so if you do it is at its max capability then obviously after the time is over you will be able to get these anti-entropy for a lot of from this place okay and la last but not least is is this open world adventure task okay so if you play this task on a regular basis for three days obviously you will be able to get it from here now the question is okay if you can get it from here then the question remains is how many can you get it per day you can get up to 25 per day okay like five adventure uh, and five entropy from each adventure which will be equivalent to let's say 25 of them so 25 into two times is 50 25 into three times is 75 now this is the maximum amount which i have saved it will not be up to 75 per week it could be up to 50 per week or maybe 45 per week so obviously it is still better because you'll be getting a lot from these places okay so these are the places where you can upgrade your weapon your 
five star weapon into its max rate okay now the question is okay after you have done that what is left the left is whatever is left is to turn it into free arm now the thing is how can you turn into it this five star weapon into a free arm free arm okay now in order for you to do that obviously you need the calling materials i'll be using this as an example okay so in order for you to do that you will need these materials to upgrade now obviously the question is okay are these easy to get well this one is the hardest to get okay so if you have any options available try to get this as possible but again i must need to tell you where you should get it from you can get it from this dorm shop okay so each time the version changes let's say uh, right now it is version 5.3 so in 5.4 it will reset again you can get it from here again up to 50 of them okay then there is this battle point reward now this battle point reward go to this elite works and then go at the below as possible now here's the thing if you see this crystal arm you cannot get it up to let's say 10 of them because at 10 you will be getting one stigmata uh, set and one stigmata piece or in 12 you will get a weapon if you still cannot get them then you can uh, change all nine of them in these places okay so basically speaking if you get use one crystal arm you will be getting 15 of them so which is why you should be able to get at least 99 of them from these places so that is up to you okay but i highly suggest that you do not do so unless the crystal arm expires uh, let's say up to two or three days before so if even if you buy this you must need to see when the crystal arm is gonna disappear and then you will be able to get it now in case see if you, if you are wondering where can you actually see the expiration date of those cores okay this this crystal arms you can get it from this place okay from this basic uh from this equipment materials and then this basic you will be able to see it here okay so if you see that the expiration date is less than uh three days or maybe less than five days then you can uh sacrifice it in those uh, elite works okay so that is uh basically okay where is it so that is basically how you can get these einstein torahs from these places and in case if you're wondering what about elysian gel you can get it only 10 of them okay and only one time only so even if you can get it from here it is not a good shop because it is a only a one time thing okay so that is basically how you get this einstein torus now when compared to this einstein torus this sc metal is lower in amounts but you can get it from many places okay you can get it from this asteroid shop you can get it from this dorm shop you can get it from this battle arsenal you can get it from this master shop okay and you can also get it from this uh, battle point store okay from example from here and you can also get it from this memorial arena now unlike the restriction which i said that do not get this from certain places you can get this from any of these places because it will not affect your gameplay in a bad way okay now this one is the least rarest one so as a result if you get this uh, the possibility of you getting these let's say up to 2000 of them in just few months okay in few months you you will be able to get at least 2000 at least 2000 amount of these nano ceramics so obviously this is the least rare one this is a bit more rare but you can get it from many places and this one is more complicated because if for example if you try to get this from this battle point reward what will happen is you won't be able to get a a six star weapon or a good quality of stigmata character or less a stigmata piece so obviously remember what i said about this one so that is basically how you can upgrade a weapon whether it is a five star weapon or whether it is a six star weapon these are the methods which i basically use on a regular basis to make sure that i can upgrade my weapon in the fastest manner possible okay so if you like this video then please give a like and subscribe and click the bell notification icon to get more of this type of content on a regular basis and that is it and see you again next time